Hello my amazing people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a glowing gradient border in Elementor. And we can apply this glowing gradient border to sections, columns, even elements or widgets. If this is something that interests you, make sure you like the video. If you are new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe. Let's get started. Let's head back to our dashboard. We'll come to pages. Add a new page. I'll edit with Elementor. I don't need to show the header, so I'll simply just change the page layout to Elementor Canvas. I'll add a new section, a three column section. I'll select the section, come to layout, vertical height. I'll give it a minimum height of 100 VH. Cool. I'll come back to the section under style. I'll give it a background color like this. We will select our middle column, come to style, and we are going to give it a background type. I'll make it something like that. And as you can see, we added our gradient border and a glowing gradient in the background to the column. Let's do that right now. Come back to our editor, select our column. We're going to come to advanced. Under custom CSS, we will add this CSS snippet. All right, so this is the code that is giving us everything just like you see here. Let's preview. Beautiful. Now let me go explain to you what we are doing currently. We are basically adding a selector. The first selector is giving our column a border of 5 pixels. If you make it 15, that's how big it will get. But we need 5 pixels. And it's giving it a linear gradient at 45 degrees of red and yellow. If I change this to blue, see that that now changes to blue and we are giving our column a viewport height of 55 so if i change this to 10 it will go to this height i want to leave it at 55. the second selector is applying our gradient and a blur to that gradient in the background for example over right here we added a background and this is the code for the linear gradient and we gave it a filter of plus 80. so if we make this 10 that's how it will look like. If we make it 70, that's how it will look like. In this case, I want to leave it at 80. You can grab yourself some nice looking CSS gradients from this website, cssgradients.io. Once here, you can decide to come over here to backgrounds. And over here, we have tabs to choose from. In this case, I'll just choose the gradient option. So if I love this CSS or if I love this gradient, I can just simply copy that come back here to our editor. I'll first paste it over here, then I edit out what I don't want. For example, I don't want the background color option. I don't want the background image property. I simply just want the linear gradient. Copy that, come and replace this over here. Beautiful. So now we have our gradient, which is this over here, as our border gradient background. But I'll keep this gradient. In case you want to add a widget to this section, you just simply come over here to widgets, image, and drag your image over right there. I can select an image that I want to showcase in that column. That's how it will look like. I can go ahead and remove the background color for our section, make it to be transparent, and I can change the height of this column under advanced custom CSS can come back over here and change this to 50 or I can even make it to be 53 something like that if I preview this so now we have our image widget inside our column that is having a gradient border so in case you want to remove this gap over here select the section come to layout and under column gap we are going to say no gap all right so now you see we no longer have that gap Let's go and preview, but now our image is running out of the border, the gradient border. So in this case, if you want your column to match the height of your image widget, we can simply select our column and under advanced, we're going to come to our custom CSS and we can remove the height option. Now that will make our column to automatically adjust to the height of the image widget. If I'm to preview this, that's how now it looks like. I'll now remove the image widget and for this demo purpose, I'm going to still select the column. I'll add our height property, 50VH. 
but now it is transparent so if we want to cover this up we can just come back here select our column under style we're going to give it a background color and we just fill it with the color of our choice can even be white i'll publish beautiful now we have our section looking just like this all right let's now look into the responsive settings of this section back in our editor we are going to select the responsive mode and choose our tablet device this looks nice and neat so we don't have to do anything here we will now go to the mobile device so we have to do some work on the right hand side and the left hand side so i'll select the main section under advanced padding i'll unlink the values and on the left side i'll add a 40 pixels and on the right hand side i'll add some 40 pixels and now we have something that looks just like this so i'll update previewing this on a tablet device that's how it looks like on a galaxy flip that's how it looks like all right all looks good and before i close i have to mention that the custom css option is in elementor pro so you need to have elementor pro subscription so that you are able to add this custom css on a widget section or column and in case you consider getting elementor pro kindly use my affiliate link right down in the description of this video because that actually helps me out and i'm able to make more exciting tutorials just like this otherwise if you like the video please give it a like if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe have a good time and see you in the next one